compromise. This is a time when we will come together in a solidarity not yet even imaginable. Within the seed there is a tree that is ready, that its leaves are already falling in the fall wind, but we haven't gotten there yet. The tree is small and it is strong. It is strong inside, but it still needs to grow, and we need to grow in this time back to our nature, back to our roots. We need to look back, and we need to say that within the seed, within the cell, within this body, within this time, within this life, there is something precious and something worth living and living for, and we are here today to share that and to figure that out and to find out what it means to use the time that we have in the body that we have to the best of our abilities to understand each other as humanity, to understand men and women and understand that there is a balance there and there is a need for union and there is a need for solidarity, not only among my sisters but among my brothers. Among all of us, I miss our family. I miss the way that humanity could reach out to each other and say, I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to. I'm tired. My mother was tired, and my stepmother was tired, and her husband was tired. They were tired of fighting. And what can we do when there's rich people and there's poor people, and one is lacking meaning and one is lacking means? What can we do when both of us need a win-win situation? What can we do when you have millions of dollars and you're rolling around in silk sheets, taking Ambien, taking drugs to put you to sleep because you can't live with the guilt inside your head and your heart because there are hungry children out there and you can feel it in your body and you can feel it in your belly and you can deny it all you want, but it is there and it affects you and you feel it. And you furiously shop around at the mall, you furiously shop around at the mall, but you can feel it. You can feel it in your belly that there are children without shoes and there are children without beds and there are women alone in the world struggling to raise them, struggling to raise up our future because our future needs to rise. And our future can't rise unless we allow it to. Unless we allow ourselves to join hands and say, you are not a single mother, you are a mother in a room full of people who care. In a room full of people who care about you and your child and your daily struggle and what it means to get up every morning and say, how do I make history alone in this living room when I've just got a bunch of shit to do? How do I get it done? How do I do it? And how do I move past it into something bigger, into my dreams? And how do I go back to Africa in my day-to-day -day life, in my day-to-day -day stories? How do I breathe in the air of my people in this other land and make it real here? How do I bring the dance of my people and say, En todo lo mundo yo necesito bailar. Yo necesito sueños. Y yo necesito personas con García. Tiene un corazón muy, muy grande. Es muy importante. No solamente hablo en inglés. Necesito que emprende más.